Okay, so right now, we're on, on this part 2 of this course video, you can now see that we are now going to perform our column placements and the size of our column is 400 by 400 based on the structure and based on the spacing of the column, of the columns, yes. So with this now, to now begin our column placement, we will have to come and come to, to this layer here and then choose column layer and make sure that every other thing here is by layer, by layer and by layer. And then with that now, we will then come now and then create or draw our column. Now when drawing your column, you can use polyline or rectangle. For me, I like to use rectangle. I'll just type rec and I'll press enter key. And then since I want to use column of 400 by 400 watt millimeter, I will then come now and then click on this place here, anywhere on the screen and type 400 and press my tab key, T-A-B, tab key, press your tab key and then type again 400. That's typing your own size. So I'll come now and click on what, click on what, enter key. So with this now, this is now 400 by 400. If now go and measure this just to confirm that, by dimensioning, you can see that right now, this is it, 400 by um, 400, which, which you have here, okay, that is fine. So with this now, we will then have to do what? Copy this column. Now, before then, I want to create the center point of this particular column. So I'll come now and then do something like this and do something like this, okay? Now, by doing this, I'll then come and change this to um, any layer apart from grid line and column. Let me now come and use what zero and then with this I can choose to hash this column or not. Let me just do and hash it by doing what H enter and I'll come now. Since I already established my center point, I'll just hash it with what solid and I'll have to come here and then choose what solid. Okay, that is fine. Come here and choose um, solid. Solid should be somewhere up here. Yeah, come here, pick that and then come and do a click on pick and then um, um, Pick all these points just to place my solid and then right and then press what enter to place that and I'll say what um okay that is fine. So with this now we didn't have this as a column. So I'll then copy this column. Now this column we are not gonna copy it from the center point. We want to place this column to flush directly on the outer walls. Okay, on the outer walls. So with that now I will then come and then click on this place here. On the outer point of this place here and then copy the column to the outer point where we have this we are we are we are, we are these two walls meet okay that is fine so with this now you can see that our grid line is at the center of that okay at the center of that which is also here too so with that now we are then establish one of the column point here so we'll then move now and then copy the other ones to the following the same principle now i'll copy this now at the center point of this place now i want to place a column around this um point here around this point here but first let's first establish column points on all the edges of the building so i'll come again now keep this one here then move it move from here copy from this point all the way down to this point okay now note that column position depends solely on you as a structural engineer you have to choose the the, the the position you want to place your column now you might be asking that the columns are coming out remember i told you that i and i and the architect has, has already agreed on what to do they did like it this way because they want to apply a casing on this column Okay, right? That will give them that for him, for him to achieve the beauty, right? So that's not an issue in this case. Else, I would have choose to hide the column inside the wall. But this is how he said he want the column to be appearing because he want to perform a design to case this column and wear it a, perfect, a particular design which is best known to him. So with that again, I will then continue again and then copy this column again from here from um, this point copy this now i'll copy from i want to copy from here again back this original one copy from here cp or co copy from this point here then move all the way down here and then keep this again copy again 
uh, you can come and keep this one here first, then move it now to flush my wall, move from here to flush with this wall. Alright, make sure it flush very well. So with this now, we have then established the, fir the first four columns at the point, at the, at the edge corners of the building, that is fine. Now, the next place now we are going to place our column, we are, we are going to place internal columns, okay? So I'll come now and copy the column again. Now I want to copy it from the points here because I'm still placing a snack column but at the middle side. So I'll come now, I want to place a column at this particular um, place here. I'll place here, okay? And I'll copy again now. I want to place a column around this place here. So I have to come now, click on this and then move this from the edge, from this edge here, and then come now, align this like this, align this like this, and then place my column there. Now this must align, you can see that it's not aligning, so I'll come now, click on this, and extend, extend this line, this wall, this wall here, you can see that, then come back now, move this column now, to make sure it flushes with the wall. So I'll come now and then flush with the wall here. That is fine. Again, I'll copy this again now. Copy this like this. Copy this. And then copy. Let me see. Is, there, is it flushing here? No, it's not. Yes, yeah. It's almost flushing. That is fine. So I'll come again now. Copy this from this point. From this point. And then go all the way down here. And place this here. That is fine. Again, I'll then come now. And then... Um, I have this to close now. Again, I'll come now, keep this here, then move it to this particular point here, and then place this here. Okay, that's fine. So with this now, we have then achieve. We have then achieve this. You can see how spaced they are. The columns are how spaced they are. Now all these other things here are we are we are we are going to take them off because we are, we are not going to use any of these internal walls. These walls are just going to be a block wall that will be resting on the DPC and also on the, on the slab to the next slab. Why? We are going to have major beams just as we are having major columns. We will have major beams too that will carry the structure. It's actually a framed structure we are, we are, we are trying to do what um, frame here. So on this now, we will then perform um, place also a column around this line. So we come again now, copy this again at an edge or at the, at the center here, middle point here. Now copy this now and come to this place. Now this is the actual column point. This second grid here is the column point, not the first grid here. I'll come again now, make sure I'm looking at the point. Come here and keep that, okay? That is fine. So make sure you get it right. So I'll come now and click on this and click on, make sure they are this, yeah, that is fine. You can see that? So now this is not a grid point. This is the point that was used to um, for the lift center wall. So, which is around this place here. So, what just to avoid confusion, I will type BR, which is the break. I will break the line once I pass this this lift wall, which which we are seeing here. Once we pass this lift wall, this grid line becomes useless. So, I'll come now and break it from where it is what useless. So, I'll come now and break it from here. You can see now this is now good. It's now it's not causing what confusion. I'll come again below this place. B R enter. And I'll come again here. Once I pass the lift, which is this is the point of the lift, I'll pass it now a bit and then use my B arrow to break that point again off from that point. So I'll break it again all the way down here. So with this now, this is now what we have got. Okay. So this is now the grid line, which is only useful around this lift area to just form this lift wall. Okay, that is fine. So the same thing happens here too. This BR, BR again, this line here is only useful from just on this lift wall. So I'll break it off again, break this off. And then break it off here also. Once I pass this lift wall, I'll break it again off because it's no longer useful anything around this place. So this also goes just to avoid any confusion on our grid lines. Okay, that is fine. Again, BR again, this point again, it becomes useless from here because it is just, just for the lift wall and also from here only for the lift wall. So this goes out also. Then also, let me go again, this also, um, this one here becomes useless again from here. I'll take it off again, take this off because it's not that useful. Again, 
off again so only locate the ones that are used for okay that is fine and then cut the rest off this no they now this one now so this is lift wall to carry to for for this lift here so i'll take this also off once i pass the lift wall so these shorter ones now only we only guide me to do what insert or uh, my my lift reinforced wall which is my shaft wall when i'm performing the structural modeling okay that is fine so with this now you cannot see how clean this thing looks like so we also copy this i'll copy again right now to place the next column copy this right now and then from this point against that point all the way down um let me see down here that is fine that's okay so once i've put that now i will then come and verify if it's actually at the center point which is yes it is there Okay, that is fine. So with this now, we have we, we are done placing all our columns on this point, on this line, and also on this line. The next thing now to do is to place a column again on this line. We have done two, meaning other two. So I'll come again now. This column is nowhere placed. You can see that it's nowhere placed. So I need to come and make sure they are it, it is what flushing. So I'll copy this. It's not flushing. Can you see that? Copy this like this and then move it move it from this point and then to here that is fine correct so again this is also okay now come again now we want to place a column again here and also um here okay that is fine so I'll come now copy this column again cp or co let me see from the from, from, from which point copy from the edge point below down edge point so I'll come here copy from here and then move all the columns just copy to and place the column um, here and also um, here so the whole idea make sure it is flushing with the outside wall as you can see they are all flushing okay that is fine so with this we now have what 12 columns entirely on this structure if i delete this off now you can see that we have 12 column four here four here, which is what eight and then four here which is what 12 so 12 columns become the major columns that we are going to use to carry this structure but don't forget if you look at the elevation we have a column this is not a structural column this, this is a fancy column that gives beauty to this particular hotel okay so this is not a structural because you can see that it is not carrying any load this load can be carried by anything right so this is not really a, a what we are going to um, place a column at that point that is why I am not counting it as a structural column you can see that our column that we have that is going to carry the structure all the way from the foundation down to the roof is just six columns okay why this one we are going to place now is a fancy column okay just for what beautification for this for this particular um structure so in the course of that we are just going to do what um uh, inside the column but once we go to the first floor the columns terminate because the, this column stops directly on the first floor slab you can see that okay this this everything this every, every other thing here can be um gotten by mass concrete okay which is not meant to be designed for okay that is fine which is this other side every, every other thing here or, or they can even use a very hard wood to achieve this okay? that is fine so with that now let's now move on to um to place the next column which is this two point of column here okay that is fine so i'll come again now and then write highlight like this now cp or co to copy copy from um, this point here and then move all the way down and then place my column here that is fine okay and again copy this again right now cp or co copy this from here all the way um, down here and then place um, this right now that's fine so with this now we are now done but placing our column points so you cannot see that this is the column points that we have let's now now once you place your column points always take or measure your column distances your column spacing distances so i'll come now dim lean and then press enter and i'll measure from this point to this point what do we have you can see that we'll have a span of 7.6 meters 7.65 meters what it means is that our beam that's 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 going you know, to run around this side is what 7.65 meters length okay that is fine i'll go again enter again i'll come here from this point to the next point we have what we have 5.8 meters again enter again from this point up to this that side I have what I have um, 7.65 meters again from this point from this point now to this other column here 
what do I have? I have what? 7, let me see, 7.278 meters. Again, I come again now from this column center to this column center. What do I have? Or what do we have? I'll come now. We have 6.322 meters. That's fine. Again, from this, the same thing happens here. What we have down? Let, let's now look at. So we have everything similar. From what we have here, we have it here, and from what we have here, we have it here, we have it here, we have it here. Now, the next thing to do is to check out what, check out this other one. From this other point here to this other um, point here, we have 4.9 meters. Although this two is not a structural, is not a complete structural column when it comes to this building. Okay, so I'm I'm only referring the structural columns, the one that's going to come from foundation down to the roof. That is those are the major columns I'm considering, and what we have them is just what twelve numbers. So let's now look at for um, the next, which is the part three of this um, course video, which is what, which is now now that we have placed our columns on the on this ground floor, and we have other floors that we have here. We have the first floor, we have a second floor, we have third floor fourth floor fifth floor and the sixth floor as you can see that now we have placed our column we have made our column point justification based on our what our grand floor plan and we start considering the what happens on the first floor and second floor and third floor and for a structure to be totally at equilibrium to transfer its load evenly at least 85 percent of the columns that constitute on that structure must be symmetrical beginning from the foundation up to the last floor right so with that now we are going to look at for how many of these columns of this 12th number of columns are symmetrical on this ground floor on the first floor on the second floor and on the fourth floor what I, what I mean by being symmetrical is they are at the same point from foundation down to the last down to the roof without any shift or without causing any obstruction so with that that takes us to the part three which is now the super um superimposing the columns on other on other floors so on the part three we are going to of this course video we are going to deal with what the superimposing of the columns on other floor to make sure that the columns are symmetrical from the foundation down to the um, down to the roof or to the last floor of that particular um, building because when you're designing a high-rise building this symmetrical um, principle is very very vital if you miss that then you miss everything so let's go down to the part three of this course video which is what column um um column uh, superimposing okay that is fine see you on the part three of this course video if you have any question you can drop it down on our email our email is ekideldesign at gmail.com or ekideldengineering at gmail.com and then if we will have to do what address your question on that or you can also reach us on whatsapp which you can get our whatsapp number on all our videos on youtube on our video description on youtube you can get our whatsapp number on all our video description on youtube so see you on the part three then bye for now